definitely want to go this way. We're buying it. But we're, we're gonna do it with Tio's bow anyway. I just kinda wanted this on recording, to be honest with you, but that's all this is. I just wanted to record. This will be easy! Um, I'm gonna bring people in, so this could be interesting for sure. See the other ones? I don't know. The other one's just better. It's not like I could sleep the dragon anyway. I have a lot of... You don't even get to... So this is a blast bow, but you don't even get to... Use blast ammo. Don't get me wrong, like you could do it without blast ammo because it detaches it, but it definitely amps it up. It's so weird. Hero's bow is so weird. I was using Magnamala's bow before, and uh, and uh, either Mag's bow or Zignor's bow, but... This bow, I don't know, I just made it and I wanted to check it out. I don't know where I stand on it. This is my first test, really. I have no idea where he is. Oh god. Yeah, see, if you don't have a wire bug to tech that, he's got a little combo there. A hunting horn, earplugs, and health regen. Once you destroy all the rocks uh, with, that, with cannons flying around them, then you can do this. damage there, but we did. What you can do with this guy too is because he's actually so long, a Dragon Egg Arrow is actually pretty good. You get like 7 or 8 hits. You can flash these guys, but it lasts only about like 15 seconds. Like it, it's not a long flash. Uh, he's almost done too. He'll he'll do one more. Oh no, that was it. We can. I won't skip it just so you guys can see it on the screen. Down you go. And then you drop in. And you can so. You can get on the cannons and stuff right away here. You don't need to worry about shooting the blue one, you want to shoot the gold one. She is a bitch. She actually is cool. You can see that she's actually eating him. She like absorbs his power. Fucking savage. Nature, you scary. And then actually if you just run through the water here, it's one, two, three. Alright, here we go. This is the first time I've done this with people. I've done it with myself solo. So I wanted to see what it was like with people. If everyone's an idiot and just dies, or if it makes it quite a bit easier. Because it's a long mission. It usually takes about a half an hour. 22 minutes. Between there. 22 minutes is a good time.
Terry. With the Constitution Brock, you guys can actually see, like, I basically have infinite stamina, like, I can fight this guy for an eternity, or, like, I can dodge for an eternity. I don't really need to give it up. I need to re-up my, uh, my one ability, though. Oh, 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 oh! Do, 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 do. Oh, fuck, it slid off. <gasps> I missed the timing. There's no point in me actually getting on the gun here, but I did dodge the attack, still. So. Uh, I usually just bark after out of this. Fuck this shit. Peace. Then I get a chance to refill too. Uh, I have a hard fight one uh, where I actually have like demon drugs and stuff like that. I, I definitely needed it when I was playing solo. I don't think I'm gonna need it as much here. <sighs> Oh fuck, it's doing some weird shit. Um, so, I've been playing with the charge blade. Uh, the bow has a different button set for uh, wire bug attacks and stuff like that, so it's kind of always fucking with me. You use the right bumper for your fire bug attacks in comparison to the other one where you use uh, your left trigger because left trigger is for aiming at this one I didn't need the dragon arrow there either I don't have my constitution buff again, so that always makes things a bit awkward for me. Just because I, I kind of made this whole build around that, where you're maintaining level 3 charge. Well, one guy down. Oh, I took some good hits there. You can actually pick up, it's actually advised too, maybe this guy will do it. You pick up these guys, these actually guys will actually give you, um, one save from death, which is actually amazing, right? Like, uh, oh god, I need to get out of the way. And then these explode after? No, that's a uh, level three. This is like level two. It, it goes in three levels. Um, a good indicator of there, there'll be a good indicator mid-fight of when the level switches. I'll show. I'll let you know then. But for right now, we're just playing level two. I should be power coded. Who should Thora appear? This is the first time he's ever appeared. So. Actually, historically for myself, it's always Magnamalo. I've never seen this, which is actually kind of cool. I have no idea what's going to happen now. Can, can we ride Kushida? You can. Get fucked. So it's always been Magnamalo for me. This is the first time I've gotten to ride Kushida. Kushala. And then, so you you have a mounted punish here, but you want to see if you can sneak in a little bit of a couple extra hits. The mounted punish will like cancel everything, and then just do it. So it doesn't matter if you're in animation or not; you can just do it. And then it will boost me off here in a second. And then he'll disappear. He's out of here. Stuff. Oh, this worked out though. Maybe. It gets fucking tremored. For some reason I didn't want to give me it. Again, I didn't really need to attach myself, but I'm going to do it anyway. I didn't have much time. I'm looking for... Okay, oh, so these guys were able to get through this, but I'm just going to park out straight again. Fuck that. Then I can grab some more. See, he died. See, two people died. This is why you farcast her out of that area. This is why you play solo. <laughs> I may have been lots of people's first time ever seeing that mission. I've seen it before. I got the fucking gem and we didn't even complete the fucking map. That's so funny. Perfect. Alright. Uh.
Uh, I'm going to end this recording. And then I'm going to... I'll show you the mission, though. I don't know if I got a chance to show it. I don't remember. So the mission is called All Mother. It's on the last page here. Two monsters, 50 minutes. It's, it's quite long. Okay, next video.